for behind the scenes and more, follow our family vlog channel, The Mag Pack. Link is down in the description. Welcome back to the Tiger's Den Podcast, guys. Before we get started, you know what we got to do. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to ring that bell and join the Noti Squad. We'll make room on the trophy mantle. Our Grambling State Tigers are back-to-back SEC champions after destroying Kentucky 63-20. to What a day for Phil Austin. PA2 started 11 for 11 and finished 26 of 32 for 334 yards and three touchdowns. This is the Phil we've been looking for all year. He used the deep ball and dink and dunked his way down the field. On the ground, it was an historic day for senior running back Charlie Brooks. 146 yards and five touchdowns, a new school record. Brooks put an exclamation point on his last game in the SEC. Joel Thomas finished with 102 yards and a touchdown, including a beautiful 25-yard TD run on the opening drive. Out wide, Chad Terrell led the way with nine grabs for 102 yards. Demetrius Gunn had six catches for 113 and a touchdown. Bradford and Edwards each caught a TD pass as well. On defense, Josh Carey had a big day, 17 tackles and a sack. He played lights out all year and kept it going in one of the biggest games of the year. Golf and Stewart each had a sack, and Ron Bennett had the lone interception. So with that win and an undefeated season, the Grambler State Tigers are headed to the national championship game, where they will be facing the Penn State Nittany Lions from the Big Ten. We'll take a look at their roster in a few, but first, let's jump into these awards. Your Season 5 Heisman Trophy winner is Charlie Brooks from Grambling State University. Talk about a bounce-back year for the running back. He was injured for majority of his junior year, but came back his senior year ready. He finished with 1,691 yards and 35 touchdowns, but look at those career stats. He's close to 6,000 yards rushing and 95 touchdowns. Freshman year Heisman winner and senior year Heisman winner. Way to bookend a career. Taking a look at the season awards and Gramlin State dominated. Charlie Brooks won the Maxwell and the Walter Camp Award. Josh Carey won the Ben Eric, but Richard Maynard, Marvin Goff, and Torian Ray finished right behind him. Carey won the Nagurski, followed by the same pack, Maynard, Goff, and Ray. Brooks also walks away with the Dope Walker Award. Richard Maynard wins the Lombardi Award, followed by his line mates Ray, Goff, and freshman Caleb Causey. For the fourth year in a row, Josh Carey wins the Best Linebacker Award, and Jordan Paxson is your returner of the year with seven special team touchdowns. And here are your first team All-Americans, Charlie Brooks at running back, senior transfer Mark Griffin at left tackle, on defense, Torian Ray, Richard Maynard, and Marvin Goff on the defensive line, Josh Carey at outside linebacker, and Jordan Paxson is your returner. Second team mentioned freshman Caleb Causey on the D-line and junior quarter Ron Bennett. Well, guys, it's time to get ready for the biggest game of the season, the national championship. This is the Tigers' second time playing for the crystal ball, and it won't be easy. Penn State comes in 12-1 on the season with wins over Michigan and Northwestern, but their only loss, the Ohio State. The Nittany Lions are led by all-world QB Sean Clifford. He's thrown for just under 4,000 yards, 45 touchdowns, and four interceptions. Clifford is very accurate, but is a pocket passer. If the Tigers' D-line can get to him, he could be in for a long day. In the backfield, Journey Brown leads the team in rushing with just over 1,100 yards and 12 touchdowns. He has great speed and can break tackles. It's going to be important for the G-men to wrap up this week. Out wide, Penn State has one of the best tight ends in the country, Tony Estes. He's caught 78 balls for 1,341 yards and 17 touchdowns. He plays all over the field. He will line up in the backfield, in the slot, and out wide. Senior wideout K.J. Hamler is second on the team with 62 grabs for 887 yards and 10 scores, and he's the speedster. And then there's Justin Miller. He's a possession wideout who has terrific route running and has great hands. The secondary will have their hands full this week. On defense, middle linebacker Ellis Brooks leads the team in tackles with 92, followed by Ike Green with 71, and D.N. Jason Allen leads the team in sacks with 6.5. His line mate, sophomore Nick Bryant, has 5.5 sacks. Where Penn State is weak is in the secondary. Donovan Joseph leads the team with 6 interceptions. 
Johnny King is cornerback number two. Then you have two safeties with terrible speed. Look for our slot players like Edwards and Paxson to eat this week. And it looks like Herb Street is rolling with Penn State to win the national championship. That's just disrespectful. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. And hit those links down in my description. And follow your boy on Twitter, IG, and Facebook at Big C Gat Game. And we'll talk as the Tigers look to win the crystal ball for the first time. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.